out here for Manchester City. Ipswich, in truth, had done a similar thing through Walk, but this was even more extravagantly bad from Flickcroft. And Marshall said thank you very much. To thrill Francis Lee. Shades of his vintage with Manchester City as a player. Wonderful work by Rowcastle. And attacking the cross, Griffiths glanced it in. 1-1. One, one. Well, Ipswich tried to get players round David Rowcastle. But they had no answer to that kind of magic. Nor to the finish of Griffiths this time. He'll feel a great deal better having missed the earlier opportunity. Responsible for Ipswich taking the lead with a careless back pass. He's now given Manchester City the lead. Michel Bock made it happen with a brave challenge and Flickcroft poked it home. 18 minutes to go. Not the tidiest of goals, but a terrific one for Manchester City. And for Gary Flickcroft in particular, Flickcroft, whose mistake led in Ian Marshall for the opening goal for Ipswich, but Flickcroft, who got the goal to win it in the second half, after Carl Griffiths had equalised following splendid work from David Rocastle. The result, greeted with relief and also with a sense of justice after the abandoning of the initial match last month when City were two goals up.